Okay, here's a engine I just picked up. It's a rather special Model 55. We just got steam up. I gotta get the condensated water out of it. If you'll notice, it has large cylinders with four screws holding each end on. <clears throat> and they also have quarter inch diameter uh, exhaust pipes, which is odd. There we go. Turn the variac down about 75, 78. Runs beautifully. These cylinders, I was told, were made by Tom Jensen for a smaller size air pump that he built during the uh, during World War II for the Department of Defense. The larger size used a cylinder like a Jensen 50. But these here were built for the smaller size air pump and that's why they have the, the larger quarter inch exhaust pipes to move more air. This is a regular 55 over here with the 3 16 diameter exhaust pipes and the uh, normal cylinders. They're 5 8 OD. These are 1 inch OD. This engine, I believe, was built in the early 70s. I actually have another 55 that is, is dated 1975. And, uh, very, very similar. This this one, I believe, is just a little bit earlier because it has the black rubber cord with the old-fashioned plug on it. Um, the 1975 engine has a gray cord with a molded plug. But everything else is pretty much the same. Same plywood base, same boiler with the convex end on it. But this, um, the base on this one is larger than a normal 55. It's actually the same size base for a Model 20. And you can see next to this other 55 how much bigger it is. And this 55 over here, which I have out here just for comparison, um, I believe this was built in the early 60s. It has the copper uh, brick embossed firebox, but it's still made the same way the uh, black painted ones were, were built, with this opening and the spot welded piece across the end. The boiler is flat faced. And the boiler is, is uh, polished, where at some point they started using kind of a kind of a brush-looking finish. Um, this engine here is kind of unusual, also, and I, and I don't think it was pieced together by somebody. 
I think it came from the factory this way. Probably Tom Jensen just using up old parts. Um, with the blue painted base, it also has the earlier whistle and throttle handles, but it has a contoured handle on the reverser. So it may not have been built in the early 60s. It could have been built later, but thrown together with old parts. And the, uh, the blocks on the ends of the steam lines on, you know, attached to the uh, valve chest have the hole drilled in them for the old, earlier style reversing lever. So this, this reversing lever is the later style, which is the same as on this one. But the earlier ones had a handle in the center with a rod going between those two holes that are drilled. And also the, the pulley groove in the center of the flywheel is kind of a later uh, thing that he did. So, kind of different. But uh, this one I believe is pretty special. I, I think this came from the factory the way it is. I think it was either one of Tom Jensen's experiments or he just had some of these cylinders left over from way back when and the Department of Defense didn't need them and he had made extras and they were just laying around so he decided to fool around and see if he could make this work or just using them up to put an engine together. He was very frugal so it's definitely a possibility. And the tag is just a normal tag, no different than any other 55 with the large tag. Of course, this one is earlier, it has the smaller tag. Well, we may never know the true origins of this engine, but we can all speculate and I have my theories and other collectors will have their theories and we'll probably never know the, the actual story behind it, but that's what makes collecting Jensen's so interesting. And that's what keeps me chasing after him. Well, hope you enjoyed this little video, and um, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.